Hello everyone, welcome to another video from the farm. Today we're continuing building our no dig market garden, but this time speeding up the process and using our little front loader on the tractor. So you might have caught our previous video where we did all the wood chip around these beds we put in, but I'll just roughly explain how we're putting them in and how we've already done these ones. We've pretty much, let's dig down and find out. Just put, you can see in there, oh, I've torn through it. <laughs> but we just put down a sheet of cardboard and then six inches or so of compost. And then on the pathways, we've put down six inches of wood chips. Now that is to suppress all of the grass and various different things from pushing their way through and hopefully give us a fairly weed free garden pretty much straight away. Now you will have also seen we planted some, some Jerusalem artichokes. As you can see, we've got our first couple poking through. Very nice. And we've also got lots of little garlics coming up already. Doing very well so far these no dig beds. Barely any watering as well so far. I think we've watered them three times in a couple of weeks. And yeah, everything's sprouting that we've planted. So the plan of action for today is put in lots more of these style beds all across this field here. With the combined areas of this bit we've already built together and then this stretch from all the way down the bottom there near the tree to just where you can see those white pipes there. This will give us pretty much a full half acre of market garden. Ideal. We used up all of that massive pile of compost we had already in those beds we built there. So I went and ordered another load and we've got another load coming from the fantastic hookup I've got. This one's not quite as good though, because this is really cheap for a reason, because it's municipal compost. So this is the stuff that goes into your brown bins, your brown council bin, goes to a massive composting center. They compost it down and it's pretty good compost. It's got a lot of woody material in it, which is ideal for the application we need. As you can see, I've already done one complete bed at the back here. I did that to test roughly how much compost and how much of this cardboard roll stuff we were going to end up needing to get all these beds done all the way down here. And it turns out not that many loads per bed, which is ideal. Should get this done in no time at all now we can get the tractor involved. So all I've been doing, tipping half a bucket out from the tractor and then building up six inches along each edge like so and then yeah just give it a bit of a rough spread out get yourself six inches in the middle there we go and then we just keep process the same all the way along get these done no time at all let's crack on Piggles will come to say hello. Hello, Piggles. Oh, he's really saying hello. Hello, Mr. Pheasant. Hello. Oh, he didn't fly away. He's a confident one.
So we've got the first three beds in fairly painlessly. Pretty easy going when we're using the tractor. It was way more difficult putting those beds in. Had to handball it because we couldn't get the tractor in the right spots. Because we would have got fences and whatnot in. But yeah, this is going to fly in. Let's crack on with the rest. Bosh! So we've absolutely smashed through most of this pile. We're on the last bed we're going to get out of it, I think. As you can see, we've left a bit of an inch or two over most of this area, apart from a few places like this where we've scraped a bit too deep. Because yeah, we're going to have another load dumped on exactly the same spot, so we don't want to be going too close to the ground. Ready for next time. So we've got 13 more beds in now. Just worked it out quickly. This is 163 square meters extra of no dig bed we've got. Oh, another little pheasant. Yeah, we had a 13 ton delivery of compost and we've still got a little bit extra. So it's just a little bit less than a ton or so of compost per one of these beds. If you're looking to work it out for yourselves how much you can build one of these for. So with what we've got left to do behind us, I reckon we'll probably need another six rolls of cardboard and another two loads of compost. Should be fairly easy to do if it wasn't for this lockdown scenario. So we're now struggling to be able to get deliveries of things. Not ideal. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem for us to get the rest of the compost to do all of this. But we shall see. It's technically an essential service that they offer for the compost because as I say it's council waste. So yeah, they should stay open. Hopefully we can get another drop this week and finish all this off. If not, a couple of weeks time, hopefully. So we've got a bit of rain coming in. Just got these beds done in the nick of time, I'd say. Well, there's a bit more compost. We're gonna have to get ourselves another load, maybe another two loads of this wood chip as well. But we should be able to get that any time. As yeah, that's just from a farm like a mile down the road. So no problem with that. Just the compost we might struggle to get now. We shall see. So I hope you've enjoyed this video on building an extra bit of no dig garden with our little Kabuta tractor. If you did, don't forget to give it a like below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that bell button. Right then, until next time, bye bye.